has anyone here ever received an unfair punishment? Good. He Rose has. He's currently baseball team. <laughs> he's living with it, but we're going to get to the meat of it here. <coughs> After you hear the evidence I have, you have an opportunity to help me right a wrong. <laughs> Very important wrong at that. Now I have, I'm a longtime baseball fan. I've seen Pete Rose play in person when I was a kid. And I have researched the facts just for fact checking purposes. And I will explain to you a problem, I offer a solution, and we'll show how the results will instill integrity back into the game of professional baseball. Now, let me describe the problem. In 1989, Pete Rose received a lifetime ban from Major League Baseball for allegedly gambling on the game. Now, the commissioner's office did have the evidence that Pete Rose did, in fact, gamble on the game of baseball. And I will read Rule 1 of Major League Baseball's rules, and it says, I quote, Any player or employee who shall bet any sum upon any baseball game shall be declared permanently ineligible. So there it is right there. And this ban happened in 1989. In 1990, the people that vote on the Hall of Fame voted to not allow banned players into the Hall of Fame. Now here's where it gets tricky. Of course, the consequence of the ban is that Pete Rose is not in the Hall of Fame. And the ban is unfair simply because the evidence that Major League Baseball presented had Pete Rose, Rose's gambling activities take place in 1987. His playing career ended in 1986. So if you want to ban him from baseball activities, that's fine. But his, the gambling occurred after his baseball career ended. Therefore, Pete Rose needs to be in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> After all, Pete Rose holds 19 Major League records. 19 Major League Baseball records. With the biggest one being the all-time hit leader with 4,256 hits. Look it up. That's a huge speed. <laughs> and I pulled that from Pete Rose's website, of course. And the, the Major League Baseball rule, Rule 21, I pulled that from the uh, Baseball Almanac. Now, solutions are, quite simply, we need to contact Bud, Bud Selig. He is the commissioner of Major League Baseball. We need to hound him, bug him, get him to not necessarily lift the band, but allow it enough where he can get into the Hall of Fame. And uh, at the end, my assistant will pass out my handout, which has Bud Selig's personal contact information. Now let's take a look at the possible results. Quite funky. The results will be simple. He will either be in, inducted into the Hall of Fame or he will simply remain banned for life. You know, he's pushing 70 years old now, so there's not much work you can do in baseball anymore besides you know, sit back, collect some paychecks, and you know, need to be in the Hall of Fame. And as you can see, this ban does have historical implications. Allowing the, this ban to remain is a problem. However, there's a solution, and of course, without fans speaking out, future records will hold zero value. And I have interviewed several people. The most credible was a Mr. Terry Woody. And he stated quite simply, yes, Pete must be in the hall, end quote. And please, everyone take the time to write, call, or fax Bud Steely and explain to him <laughs> that without Pete Rose in the Hall of Fame, there's no reason to keep any more records. Period. Thank you.